Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, it is Thursday, the 12th of, of, of October, 2023, and today, we are reflecting on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verse 5 to 13. Today is a continuation of yesterday's Gospel, whereby we look at the disciples came to Jesus and asked Jesus how to pray. So, Jesus was created to them and he taught them the Lord's Prayer. In today's Gospel we read, and I tell you, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. So my dear brothers, I have two questions. Does really God answer our prayers? And what is our attitude towards our prayers. Whenever we are praying, we need two things. We need much love and much forgiving. As we read in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1 to 8, we read a parable of a woman who was praying to God. And that woman never gave up in prayer. That should be our attitudes whenever we are asking from God. We need to pray with faith, with hope, and with love. Whenever we are praying with love, we develop also forgiving. Whenever we are forgiving, we love much. So my dear brothers, also God is telling us in the letters to the Hebrews that for whoever doesn't have faith he cannot please God and he cannot acknowledge his existence. This applies also to our life. Whenever we don't have faith in God there's no way we can thank him, there's no way we can ask him and there's no way we can knock at his door. So dear brothers and sisters we are encouraged to ask God whatever we want from Him and He will grant us all the blessings, all the graces and all what we need in our life. God is the most person who concerns about our life. God is the person who cares for every creature, for everyone. So dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God in prayers and petitions and thanksgiving so that He can bless us with more graces, with more love, and with more forgiving. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.